Hello Structural Potato fans, Shadow Dancer Bruni back with another unboxing film. So, we have several things here, some stuff I'm not allowed to open, but which you will get to see open, thanks to our special guest. So, we are going to start with this poor, poor box. So, came all the way from Texas, and it is not in great shape. So, torn on the side here, and just accordioned in, scuffed up here, uh, edge uh, dings all around. So, this is of course from Ben Dunn, so should be some good comic swag. Let's find out how it did inside. Alright, so not too terribly bad. We have our official Ninja High School chopsticks, uh, which I probably will not be the one using. And we also have so the patch there. So I, is this for the uh, aliens, I believe? I've been a while since I've read reread that. So and finally, so we have textbook seven. So along with all of the characters there. So despite uh, the box damage, uh, everything looks in very good condition. So, yay. And, and next up, we have a padded manila envelope from Dead Gentleman Productions. So this is going to be a DVD. And we have a puncture here through the paper and then just kind of journal scuffs after that. Alright, so let's open it up. So let's see. Let's see we opened up the um Gamer, the new Gamers movie last month, so it won't be that. Alright, this is Demon Hunter's Slice of Life. So if you ever wanted to know what it's like in the average day of those people defending the world from, you know, interdimensional threats, it's a DVD for you. So is there anything else in that? Yep. Some other stuff. Alright, so we have the Demon Hunter Slice of Life uh, backer badge. So we have the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch patch. And we have the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch pen.
and everything here looks to have shipped in good condition guys so well done and the last one here big heavy cardboard box from slugfest games which uh looks you know, a few minor dinks dinks dents and dings so dinks dents and dinks okay in uh, the corners And now, I'm not allowed to open this, so I'm going to have to pass you over to the one who is. Ta-da! Yes! Kira Kitty has made it back on camera sooner or later. Mwahaha. And he's, no, um, Slugfest Games. Both Shadow Dancer Brony and I love sh uh, Slugfest Games. I personally got to meet some people at the booth at Gen Con. Hello, everybody that I got to see. Yay! Um... So I kind of got upper privilege to open the box of excitement because we both know what's in this. So, opening time! And it helps if I get the knife. Yay, knife. All oh, the peanuts! So, I will start with this. We got the expansion of Spike and Flower. So this is basically Slugfest Games joining Munchkin and making two new characters to join the crew of all the Slug, uh, the Red Dragon Inn allies. And it's got a whole bunch of cool things and there's new prizes to be won. So let's try the prize variant and add some spice to the gambling rounds. This is a new thing that they said they just started and we did do a demo of the game at Gen Con and got a, what was it, like a cuddle bomb? It was a teddy bear with a bomb in its belly. It was adorable. Oh, and TNT arms, that's right. Um, but we'll have to show you the image later. It's, it's awesome. But... Yay, so super excited for this. It also has this new variant that I didn't know about. Two-player RDI, Red Dragon Inn. Otto the Automatron was invented by Wizgel and Wrench to fill in when the tavern's a little empty. This option adds a variant to automated third player to your game. So even if you only can get two people and you can't get that big group to play all of it, there's an Otto the Automatron, which I'm curious to find out about. Which, I'm sure Shadow Dancer is pretty curious himself, so. Next, which, I think this is part of the Kickstarter as well. I just don't remember seeing it when it was shown to me. Because Shadow Dancer Brony, Brony took care of it all. Munchkin, the Red Dragon Inn version. Look at the cute little deck. It's so adorable. Look at it, it's the Munchkin version of the, of the, the wench. Ever wonder what happened to the tavern after the adventure's over? Now Munchkin Red Dragon Inn has 29 popular cards taken from the hit series and including the treasures like the beer and the tears and the bad guys you'd have to face from like the bo the villains expansion. Bonus includes one promo prize card for Red Dragon Inn. So all the promotions. I forgot about this. Because we have the big giant box for Red Dragon in 5, Red Dragon in 7 had the Eco Collector's box. We don't have the pretty fan art, but it's like, you know, if you have that giant box, it's just a box in the way and sitting there. Um, Red Dragon in 7, so like, Red Dra I think the one just before Red Dragon in 6 was um, specifically the Villains Edition. So it had a lot of bad guys, it had a Goblin King and a Vampire and um, a, a Cursed Mummy and the 
Cthulhu slash uh, Kraken woman. Anyways, um, but this one, after that, they're like, you know, you know what this game's really missing? You get to talk about the wench and all that. We want a game where you get to play as the wench and the owner of the inn and the um, the bouncer for the inn and last but not least the hey you have all these magical mounts and whatnot you need a stable hand to take care of all the mounts in the in the thing so see look there's Jasper the bouncer yay so I'm just gonna quick show you that ooh that token is awesome okay let me quick open this up because now I'm excited not that I wasn't before, but I'm super excited now. Super excited. Okay, so to show you guys who is all in this one. We've got Jasper, the bouncer. We've got Molly, the stable hand. We've got War Warthorn Redbeard, the owner of the inn. And last but not least, the wench. The wench! So now here, here is one subtle hint that I will give from my speaking with one of the people at the Red Dragon Inn booth, I was told if you pay attention to the cards close enough in the wench's deck, you will find out the wench's real name. I really want to look right now. What do you guys think? Yes. We'll, we'll save that for flavor text. So we've got, we got actual coasters for Red Dragon Inn. We've got a total of six. Four of Dragon Breath Ale and two of Fairy Ale. And here's that cool token I was talking about. Look at that. That is cool. That's the Fire fire Breath Ale. And look at the back. It's all detailed, just not as painted and pretty. It's so cool. And I think that was that extra token that they were talking about for making gambling more interesting. Nope, that's just in this one. Sorry, I'm I'm mixing games up, but I'm so excited. And ooh, we got extra little bonus cards. Ooh. The good stuff. It's a drink event. And then this one's got a whole bunch of cards, so but yeah, this is so cool. And look, there's the prize card of Absorbent Towel. Ooh, look at this. Okay, look at this, guys. Not only does it have a special reserve, it has War Story, War, Warthog Stories, and the Stable. So there's different things that can interact with each is bonus abilities and here here's what I was looking for they do have it hold on let me open this up open open these are everybody's decks these are the extra tokens the new drink deck the actual little player card things to go in the box and actually while you're there there's that price thing I was talking about for gambling that if you wanted to, this is what the price token looks like for gambling. That's what I thought that other one was. And these are the big coins to add more coins to your thing. But this, this is technically the cover of the box, but they decided to give it to you kind of as like a little posters type thing. I'm just trying to get it out of the plastic so I could show you guys easier. Because this is the book. But they're like, hey, for all the people who are doing eco, we're going to make the book have the cover right there. So yay, it's all pretty. I love how the bouncer's all magical. Yeah, no, no drinks spilled on me. Nope, I don't think so. 
But they do have a second winch, no I noticed, when the winch is busy playing. We've got Red Dragon in, we've got Ninja High School with chopsticks I'm going to totally steal. And we've got Demon Hunter Slice of Life. Find out more information with links below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! I really wanted to show you this adorable card that we got for uh, doing the play test at Gen Con. This is the adorable bear of explosions. So, Adora Bomb. Very appropriately named. So, yay, awesome stuff.